much just for being here today. Is a school leader that helps others. others. There's our others. Very good. That helps others come up with solution to resolve their own conflicts. conflicts. And that's part of the magic of restorative justice is you don't have to know what their solution is, but you help them figure out their own solution. We started a peer mediation training about a month ago and we are just launching it in the playground and uh, just the students take such pride when they come and pick up their vest and their materials to go out into the playground and, and be available to help solve problems. What does trouble look like? Like this, like Jeremiah, let's do it. If you're looking like it looks like an argument. What I've observed is that the, the younger kids, our program is with sixth graders and fifth graders, the younger kids do look up to them. So I think the whole, um, notion of learning as people that uh, role models are out there and that uh, help is out there. When we come out for duty, we kids come up, come up to us and we solve the, their problems. Like when they're fighting, yeah. when they're fighting, when they're fighting, we fill out the form, the form and if they just have like a feelings problem, we just talk, they just talk it out. The purpose of today is that we're going to talk about the importance of respect. So one way to do that um, together, I want to create um, a respect agreement. Básicamente vamos a las escuelas y les enseñamos sobre um, cómo resolver conflictos sin, um, sin tener que resultar a peleas o discusiones, sino usando comunicación y así um, ellos, los niños van y les ayudan a otros niños que están teniendo problemas. Um, y comunican entre sí y arreglan el problema sin tener que meterse en problemas con la maestra o con um, el principal, el director. Y así también um, mantenemos la paz en las escuelas. So, uh, um, first, I never remembered you were walking peacefully. And I was on the swing, swinging. She comes up to me, so like, you've been there long Let's enough. <laughs> Let's say we were to come out there and we got the ball first before both of you, and we were on mediation duty, and then we came to one of you and you would say, oh, well, you have the ball for five to six minutes, and then we'd go to me and say, you have the ball for five to six minutes. Put the questions on the ball. These are fun questions, and so we'll just play this ball game. You guys know how it works. So you have to like, try to do it or else you're never going to accomplish it or get anything done in your life. Much of our work is in prevention because what we've realized is that order, in order to repair relationships, there should have been relationships in the first place. So a lot of the school's team will spend time doing preventative work or community building work such as circles, campus presentations, trainings for the front office. I myself actually have found it helpful even as a school principal to follow the model that the peer mediators use. Think of others and if you put yourself in somebody else's shoes and how you made them feel, um, that's just the right thing to do. And um, I think uh, we need to do more of that.